I expected no less from you. You gave my blade Yato quite a workout. What a beautiful sword. It's a divine blade, forged to bring peace to the world. When I first saw Yato, it flew from its hiding place into my hands. It chose me. It was the same day my mother died protecting me. Uh, you lost your mother too? It would have been easy to lose myself in that pain. I couldn't have recovered alone. Luckily, I had friends who stood by me and helped me find my way home. And, like my friends, Yato was by my side at every step on my journey. I understand your feelings quite well. In the coming days, you'll make choices that might cause you no end of suffering. But no matter what pain you're feeling, I'm with you. And I'll help you find your way home again. I will remember even in the darkest moment that I am not alone. Then you'll be just fine. Thank you, Corin, for joining me on this path I have chosen. That'll definitely be a bond cap that'll very much help me out. That'll be very nice there. I would love to save. Nice. All right, another max bond level unlocked. We can keep on getting higher level emblem abilities here and stuff. It'll be great. Weapon sync. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty strong one, I must say. Uh, let's go to this far side first, and then we can go across. Is what we can do. Kapow. Yes. Picked up a pebble here. I might keep it. Just a tiny rock, but it felt like I had a story to tell. Yeah, hold on to it. Maybe give it to someone, and they'll like it. Hey. We're still friends, aren't we, Divine One? Let me fight your sight again. I do have a spicy crumb build in mind for you, but like, there's only so many party slots. I'm sorry. Great spot, eh? We're not here to have fun, I know, but can't hurt to enjoy the view. Yeah, and now I get to actually, you know, walk around on the Switch. The, uh, that map from Fire Emblem Fates. Where it's split into the different paths. It's actually kind of cool. Hey, so I'm better at fighting since joining up with you. Heh, <laughs> might be better at cooking meat, too. Neat. Alright, talk to Fogato there. And stuff. Yeah, it's always handy to have one around for, uh, you know, hauling things and stuff. And yeah, that's, uh, I can get pricey there. The recent one that my dad got is, a. Uh, bit fancier one that's apparently just a smidge better at hauling things than the old one and that's why he wants to replace it i should take care not to stray from the group or I'll lose my bearings for sure and i'm never gonna haul anything behind my one unless it's like the lightest thing imaginable oh my what a gorgeous place I only wish we could stop and take in the scenery i mean we kind of are right now aren't we incredible i was overwhelmed by your attack it's an honor to have faced you in combat you were kind of screwed over while i grinded there <laughs> you know, yep. better keep an eye on me, Divine One. I'm getting more powerful by the second. Yeah, that's good, because you're one of my weaker <laughs> units right now. Kind of hard to believe this pretty scene where it's a battlefield just a little while ago, isn't it? But I mean, you know, you're not exactly meant for attacking. You're meant as a support unit. Is the case. That's what you were designed to be. I missed an item back there, I'm oh realizing now. Well done honing your talents. I shall have to refine my skills further to match you. More bond fragments. Cool. Let me yoink this here. Okay, some iron. Well, it'd be nicer if it was some steel or silver. That's a lot more valuable to me here. Hmm. Thought this strange place might be home to some large insects, but I haven't found one. How many insects yeah. are there in the world of Fire Emblem Fates, I wonder? Who's today's MVP? Why, none other than Lady Anna. Two kills for the price of one. Yeah, you actually did really good work in that last map. You know, in the very beginning of using Anna, I had to, you know, just kind of feed her kills. I still am feeding her kills like a decent smidge. But, you know, not only can she hold her own at this point, but she's really cleaning up now. Especially with, you know, a magic emblem and the magic bow there. Like, my Ooh. goodness. Souls perished here before we arrived. I should say a prayer for those I never got to meet. You know, if she's in a physical class at the end of the day, then her magic growth rates won't matter. But while I'm just going through the main game casually, having the highest magic growth rate in the game... She's definitely using it pretty well with that Radiant Bow. Impressive. Vyvon, you've grown stronger again. No, the cards didn't tell me. I saw it with my eyes. My eyes on the cards. So what am I getting from the World of Fates? A dog. A doggo from the World of Fire Emblem Fates. Come with me, doggo. Adopted. <laughs> Hi. Well. As much as I want to pit myself against the best, feels wrong to hope for more fighting. 
Hi. Right. Fight is over, divine one. You should rest. I'll check the area for any lingering concerns. Thanks, Mian. Hmm. The air here tastes strange. Is it the landscape, or is it something else? See a wacky world of fire emblem fates is what it tastes like there. Right. You know. Hey, do you do bad just now? Talk out either to my muscles or your guidance. Yeah, that's a. That could definitely get up there. A decent smidge. I mean, the uh, the old Mercury that we have that's fully restored the last time that that was evaluated. Though, to be fair, like it was evaluated in CAD, not USD. Last time it was evaluated was at 80k. So, you know, it can definitely get up there. And I'm uh, sure that if I manage to get mine all preed up as well, that, you know, it might not be half bad in terms of its value. Our foe must have eaten well to become strong. I'm intrigued to learn more about their food. What were they eating yes. in Fire Emblem Fates, huh? This place would be quite ordinary if not for your presence in it, Divine One. Would it be ordinary? This Fire Emblem Fates map, would it really be? <laughs> I struck down many foes in that skirmish. Next, we shall test if that was a mere fluke. But yeah. Yeah, so. Definitely, uh, not half bad thing or bob there, considering, like, apart from properties, it's literally the most valuable thing my family owns, you know. Is the thing and my own truck is probably the most valuable thing that i own because you know while it's not in all that pretty of a state yet i um yeah so we can just depart now while it's in not all that pretty of a state yet i uh you know my car is definitely not worth more than it because my car is a you know a pretty cheapo car <laughs> a pretty pretty basic thing um there's no equipment in here that'd be more expensive than that i don't own any property so like my truck is currently the most valuable thing that i personally own what kind of Mercury is it? Good God, it's a uh, 1949. Um, what was the uh, name of the model? But it's a 1949 Mercury truck that was it M1? What did they uh, what did they call the names there? Some something or other like that. M something. It looks like the doogie is ready to come on downstairs, so I'll be back here shortly. Um, wow, taking the doogie down here. I do wonder if my microphone ever picks up my dog barking there as I'm carrying her down the stairs. Like, she knows that she can't get down the stairs on her own, and she does, you know, visibly ask me, like, hey, can you bring me down with you? And it's part of her routine and stuff. But it doesn't stop her from being very, very noisy whenever I take you down. Oh. It's kind of the case, you know? M-Series, that thing we're Bob there. I think I have a loose dog hair in my mouth now. Meh. Yep. Hey, Jesse. Hey. Hey, you. That thing we're Bob there. So maybe I'll switch to uh, this layout here. This is what I shall do. I'll block the map, but whatever. Doesn't matter too much. And she's staring right at where the treats are immediately. You just got a bedtime treat of a dentist stick right before coming down hey here. There. Maybe I'll give you one in a little bit here, but you just got a dentist stick, Jesse. Okay, you still life here, although I guess I never really have trouble sleeping anywhere. Yeah, maybe it's worth that much, but you have nothing to go off because between the two different vintage car series, neither of them have even one listed. So can't really see anyone selling any one of those for reference. You see. Conflict steals joy from people across the world. Very much like to help to restore that joy. Nice. So. <laughs> yeah, she's just staring at, uh, staring at that. Jesse, maybe I'll give you one later, but you just got a dentist stick. So for now, how about you relax and take it easy? <laughs> <sighs> 
you know, she wasn't as food motivated when she was younger. You know, she was a lot more play motivated. If she had the choice between like a tasty snack or play, she would always choose play. You know, that was the way that she was. But as she's gotten older and, you know, had a lot less energy and such and can't do as much playing, she's gotten a lot more food motivated is the, uh, is definitely the case. Um, do you bring me your salamander? <laughs> but yeah. Found out that Mercury had a rebadged version of Ford Torino called the Mercury Cyclone. Cyclone's a cool name. That is perfect for meditation. Hey, Jesse. Hi. Got a blanket over my legs because I'm a little bit cold. Hey, Jesse. This away we go. I think I was mentioning during, uh, I think it was Mr. Saito that we were streaming yesterday. The doggy's been really happy the past couple days because she recently got a new toy of like a really big teddy bear because at the uh at the hospital that my mom helps out with with you know work stuff oh. while also uh and research stuff there um of volcanic course. cod did i just say i misread what the heck it was um apparently the hospital elects a few people each year to get like what some sort thinking? of bonus like gift basket thing where Bob is thanks for their support and she ended up getting one this year and one of the things that was in it was like this big like fluffy teddy bear and you know none of us are exactly gonna want a teddy bear per se so whoops I pressed a a little bit early there um so decided to let the dog have it you and you know the doggy could tell that, that clearly didn't look like a doggy toy like it clearly looks different and such she's like wait but that's like a human kind of thing so the doggy was pretty confused at first like really i can have this and it was insisted to her yep she can have it so uh so she got it and you know she was pretty surprised about it but it's like yep it's yours you can do whatever you want with it and she was pretty happy about that so she's been shoving her face into it valacomic cod um some her favorite toys one of which is back here this is another one of her favorites is the dinosaur her favorite toys like this one she'll sometimes just like nibble on or suck on she's been doing that with that teddy bear recently like it's a <laughs> it's been giving her some good comfort she quite likes it yeah and there's your dino there's your dinosaur <laughs> but yeah i got a cod pick a rod. i will pick a Where rod fish with sami is it just me or do i always seem to get like better stuff over here but yeah um, let's see here. Speaking of, I think the Fiat is the most valuable thing you own. Cars are expensive. Cars are expensive. They definitely are. Yeah, my my car is either the second or third most expensive thing I own. If it's not my car, then it's my computer, <laughs> you know. Wow. It's either one of those. They're probably pretty close. I would imagine. Boobie-bop. I had my pay off your car, but spent it all on maintenance instead. Good maintenance catch. gets expensive. I don't know why the chat was bugged out. At least I've caught it there while it's working now. Do you want to keep going I have to turn it on and off again, what I guess. Thinking? I mean, if I can consistently get that giant one from around here, then, you know, that'd be fine. Or that large one from there. I'd be fine with that, personally. I'd be pretty A-OK -okay with that. Yeah, <laughs> the, uh... No. Cars are expensive and car maintenance is expensive. Owning a car can be a lot of responsibility. Maintaining it properly and such, you know. And it can save a lot of money knowing how to do stuff yourself, but, you know, a lot of really crazy stuff you know, needs to I get done. Fishing isn't all about yeah. results. In an actual shop. Do you want to keep but yeah, I'm, uh... Where were you thinking? Like, I'm glad that I grew up learning the basic things about vehicles to be able to, you know, do basic work on them. Like, you know, checking oil, changing tires, stuff like that. You can always do that. Hey, Jesse. Can you relax and take it easy? <laughs> You're pretty happy, aren't you? <laughs> no. Yeah, it seems to be the same kind of thing here. And I'm fine with getting the same one over and over again. Like, I get quite a decent bit of bond fragments from this 360 every time. Like, I will gladly get 3,600 bond fragments from this total. Nicely done. That's what I can do. That'd be not half bad. Don't have the equipment to do the clutch on a fit. Yeah, crazier things like that. You know. Where were you thinking? Aren't gonna be quite as easy. And apparently that's the biggest thing that I can get today anyway. That fish. So I may as well keep going for this one if it really is just 
you know, over here the glasses on that and emote didn't really uh you know go all that well huh yeah that sounds like a, a bit of a crazy process there at least they work well with the captain falcon you know at least there's that great success a stunning performance. Oh, smash head right. Maybe I was just getting really weird RNG of getting like the same one over and over again. Where were you thinking? But now I'm thinking about continuing to go into that kind of corner space there, you know? That's what I'm thinking here. It almost looks like he's just lowered his glasses and looking over them to give you that gaze. He's <laughs> just brought them down a little bit. Hey, a giant shadow. Hey, cool. Get here. Get over here, you. You wink the giant shadow. What you see? You. I suppose fishing isn't all about results. Wait, haven't I gotten large ones of this as well? I thought I was getting these when they were Do large before. Not giant. Am I going crazy? Thinking? I think I might be going a little bit crazy here. What might be happening? Maybe, maybe. Dinosaur here. What kind of fish do we get this time? No. A large shadow. Get over here, you. And the thing we get this time is... What is it now? A stunning performance. Gela Tail Sierra. Okay, well. Do you want to keep going? Pick a rod. I have three more that I can do here. Thinking? I'm feeling good about this corner at this point, you know. You, know, you spent mass money for the clutch shop still doing your own oil change which funny enough you have to do next week yeah it's good to be saving money where you can and stuff so if you're able to do that with the uh oil change there though i guess no. if i was bringing it into you know the shop anyway i might have it be done there if it's you know already there anyway and getting stuff done potentially come on get over here you Come on. There we go. What is this giant shadow all about, huh? What have we here? That one again. Done. Nice. Yeah, we're getting a lot of those. So we're getting a lot of bog fragments from this exploration. It's awesome. You, you absolutely love to see it. If only every fishing exploration could be this one. If only every exploration's fishing could be like this one. No. You know? But yeah. Oh, <laughs> So I guess they wouldn't do it there. At least it's getting sorted out one way or another. At least there's that. Great success. I think I have one more after this. I suppose fishing Smash head ray. Results. I mean, that's still not a half bad result. Do you want to keep going? You know, Where were you thinking? Still not half bad. I'm committing to this corner. I haven't gotten a single small one this whole time. I don't believe, unless I'm just losing my memory here or something. But I don't believe I have. So this seems to be a good corner for... Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is then. What a world we live in, huh? I suppose fishing isn't all about results. Huh? At least 40 bond fragments from that one and not like 10 or something like that. And I cleared the bonus thing where Bob there. Yeah. Oh, that's a... Sounds like definitely a bit of an annoyance there. Well, I've been fishing about as long as I've been walking, so you can leave this all to me. Hopefully we don't overfish Skyloft here. You know? Because that's got to be a concern, I would imagine. The tent is all set up today. Hey. I'm used to camping, not to mention camping with some wild folks, so don't worry about me. It's not like it's that rural of a camp, though. I don't really have anything in the tent. Probably an important step is actually putting some things in the tent, you know? Like, I'm no camping expert, but I would imagine so. Yeah. More I'm here, more I like the Samia. Of course, when we talk, the more I like you. And you better beat up that evil Fogato in the DLC. You better do so, you know. Hmm. I never thought I'd live in the sky before turning into a star. Clouds, they're like an ocean. Yeah, good news is it changed the oil. You have to take the aftermarket air and take off anyway, so that's nice. Bad news is once you clean the filter, you have to let it dry for about 24 hours before you can drive the car again. That, uh... Definitely a decent bit of steps to remember in that case. 
Hello. Not screw things up. All the books in Elios could not have prepared me for this view. How immense our world is. No, we don't really see a whole lot of the world below. We just kind of see a whole lot of clouds. It's basically like living in Skyloft. Um, I mean, it's sacrilegious to say, but divine one, I find living in this holy place very pleasant. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say it, man. Definitely makes me glad. There's Sami running down the hill. <laughs> all right, you wink. More bond fragments. How many do I have now after that all? Wow, I'm past 20k again. Nice. You'll love to see it. Eggs! Give the weird dog some egg! That's how you give egg. By petting and stuff. <laughs> so someone just specifically, oh, you don't like egg. Besides do that whole system then. Well, you still give me bond fragments though. And we pet. And we get some more bond fragments and stuff. There we go. Bond fragments. Sweet. Thanks for the bond fragments. And then, I'm gonna once again have a dog hair in my mouth and then steal from the thrift store here some wheat flour, or whatever the place is called. Don't quite recall. Hmm. Sometimes my mind drifts towards fear and a, and so thoughts of mother back at the castle. Yes. Tea party would be a nice way to get to know everyone. Too bad I can no longer drink tea. Poor Byleth. So I guess it has like its its perks then. In that case, potentially. Oh, nice, nice. Eh. 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 Well, got a steel and silver at least. I guess I didn't go completely with iron, you know. <laughs> Definitely one way to handle it. Who's in front of the thing where Bob here? Uh. I wanted to pass time, I simply imagined myself luxuriating in a hot spring back home. Well, might be difficult to imagine because you'd have to imagine yourself, you know, in very warm surroundings, you know. I might find it a little bit difficult. Yes. Oh, Prince Alfred for you. Time to do push-ups and what stuff. How hard do you want to go? I, I, I've probably told this before, not during this series, but thinking about push-ups reminds me of growing up in the German bilingual program. When I was in junior high school, our German teacher, she, uh, she had an accent that, you know, wasn't from any one particular nice. place. She lived in a lot, a lot of different places throughout her life. Looking so she good. had like a wildly unique all over the place kind of accent. And I remember whenever, uh, <laughs> you know, whenever there was anybody nice. that was up to some mischief or if she was worried that anyone was whistling or something like that, Keep she didn't up. like people whistling in class. She was like, nice. you guys, when you're not doing this stuff, then you go into the corner and then you do push-ups. She would make people do push-ups as punishment sometimes in the corner. So she was like, you'll go into the corner and then you do push-ups. Nice. And uh, so I'm honestly surprised that I haven't Keep thought about that before this point in this series, considering we're doing push-ups every time that we're exploring here. So, like, maybe that would have been nice. something that I would have thought of earlier in this playthrough, and I'm very surprised that I didn't. Keep it up. And yeah, she would, uh, she would make us do push-ups. She would always, nice. uh, think that people are whistling in class even when they're not, so she would throw wild accusations sometimes, being like, wer pfeift for who's whistling? Wer pfeift? War das Tim? <laughs> you know. Well, that's Jack! That a good Accuse all sorts of different people. Oh man, I didn't get the plus three. I was too distracted by my uh, again, <laughs> by my teacher's story that I uh that I got the plus two instead of the plus three. Whatever. Whatever, I guess. Some more bond fragments. You love to see it. Hi, Pit. Ah. Oh, divine one. Do you need anything? Happy to do anything you need. Make a new kid Icarus game. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I'm sure Sakurai's pretty busy and stuff, though. All right, well, I'll take the books and stuff in exchange for those, like, crap vulnerabilities that were almost done. I can probably keep on putting, like, you know, crap almost done ones in there. Look how many antitoxins I have. Holy crap. Look, I can just put a bunch of this crap in there, and then I can get, like, books and stuff. So, sure. Works fine for me. I will gladly take that deal and stuff. Man, I did one. Interested in taking a ride on a wyvern? Yep, let's go. 
Let's go get some more bond fragments and rewards that way. Oh, yeah, I should probably recycle a bunch of my torches in the well, too, shouldn't I? Have a nice one. Probably. Been out for a Kid Icarus game, never played one before, but the 3DS one is hard to find. Yeah, I managed to, uh... Actually, I don't think I bought it physically. I think that is one of two 3DS games that I bought digitally. The other one being Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. For whatever reason, I never bought that game physically. Maybe I should buy it physically, like, before it gets, like, super crazy expensive. It might already be decently expensive. Maybe I should do that at some point. But yeah, I uh, own that one digitally, and same with Kid Icarus there. I was introduced to Kid Icarus Uprising while I was on my German exchange trip. My exchange partner introduced me to it. I was like, this game's really cool and fun. And uh, he introduced me to it, and I picked it up later and uh, played it. And I was like, huh, yeah, it was pretty fun and stuff. It's a, uh, it's a good game. One day I'll play it on the channel, and that'll probably be one of the uh, games that I make the exception of playing things in order. I probably wouldn't play the two you know, NES Kid Icarus games before that point, I don't think. Probably not. I might be a little bit hard-pressed to do that. Oh, man. Well, uh, how do I get the big laser anyway like this? I don't know how it works. Oh, is it by hitting the... Wait, is it by hitting the golden ones? Yeah, I definitely imagine that's probably pretty expensive nowadays. I think I got that one digitally back one because it was already, like, semi-hard to find even then. Was the thing. All right. Whoa. I don't know what you even just shot there. I'm not entirely certain. But something other. Someone here is selling just the outer sleeve of the case for $20. The case with no game is $40. Cartridge on so is $60 USD prices. Yikes. Yeah, so that gives me a mega laser. Is how that works. I think. Huh. I've always just been going for the blue ones for all the points and stuff, you know? Kind of what I've been doing. All right, well, I'll pass the 80K at least. So we should hopefully get some pretty alrighty rewards from it. Hopefully there. What kind of thing, Bobs, do I get here? Yeah, I'm never getting close to that high score again. Not happening here. A singular S this time. Not multiple S's, but a singular one. Um, those PMD, those promo PMD anime episodes they made. Yeah, I've uh, seen them before. Well, not as many things as I would have gotten with SS there. Oh, interesting. So I guess those are like a sought after collector's thing that exists out there in the world in that case. Must well be. Huh. Did I ever chat with whoever's here? Single episode disc, really? That hey. seems like not efficient at all. Never thought I'd, they'd let someone like me into the Holy Land. Now it's kind of like I live here. Yeah, you basically do. Is pretty neat. No play at the pool today. Well, 